Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up VS Codium for Python. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install and set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So I have VS Codium open here, and what I want to do is open a folder. So I'm going to do Control K, Control O to open a folder. And let's create a folder here and let's just call it Python. Hit enter, and I'm going to now open this folder. And it's gonna ask me if I trust the authors, I'm gonna say yes. And what I'm gonna do now is create a new file, let's call it main.py. Now you should note that there is some basic support for Python without in installing any extensions. And so you could do something like, you know, print, um, hello, my name is Tim. And without the extensions, you don't get the little play button up here in the corner that allows you to play it. But if I open my terminal with a control and the tilde, I can run this with just Python 3, and then the name of the file, main.py, and I get, hello, my name is Tim. So that's one way you can do it, okay? Um, but if you wanna get some basic, you know, Python linting and that kind of stuff set up, uh, there's an extension. You can go to your extensions here and go to, just search for Python. And if we go down, we see the second one is the extension from Microsoft, it's ms-python. That's available now for VS Codium. You can click install. Okay, so there you go, that's installed. Now here you have this little play button. Uh, so let me, let me do you know, a little bit more code here. Let's uh, write something like four. I in range 10 uh, will, print, um, I don't know, let's just print I, okay? And what I can do here is I can not even save it and just run the play button and it'll save it for me and then run it, okay? Run that loop. So that that is uh, some Python support in VS Codium. I haven't got this quite working with the Jupyter Notebooks yet, but um, you do have some Python support. One just kind of built in with the syntax highlighting to VS Codium if you just want to go via the terminal, which I kind of prefer actually. Um, or you can, you know, it, install this extension, get your little play button here and get going with that. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like as it will help the video get out to more people. Thank you.